Hey guys, it's Switch here, and today we're going to be making some bath bombs, so let's get into the video. So what you're going to need is a knife, a plate, an old cup, one lemon, half a cup of bicarb soda, some food colouring, some sort of mould, and a bowl to mix it all in. So, first you're going to get one cup of bicarb and put that into your bowl. So, let's right, do that. So when we've done that, this actually isn't a cup, I just kind of estimated. Just give it a little stir and try to get the big bits out, it doesn't really matter. And then you just want to cut up half a lemon and squeeze half of it into a bowl. Um, so I'll just do that. And okay, so once you've got a cup of a cup a lemon juice into your cup, I only had a little bit. You only need a little bit. Um, I didn't have a very juicy one, so I'm going to get my food coloring, and I think I'm going to. Make green. So just open your lid and put about just a couple of drops into your lemon juice. Mm. What? Preferably make it a bit darker than what you'd want because when it goes into the bath. Like this is kind of almost like a really dark, like black colour. When it goes into the bath, it does make the bath fizz up and go a colour. Um, so and it will go lighter, so make it just a bit darker. And then we just want to pour a little bit at a time into our bicarb. And it will fizz up and go all bubbly. And that's totally okay. That's what you want. Because it is the bicarb that is going all like that. So I'm just going to do that till this is all. Um, I'll show you. In okay, it. so when you finish it, it should look something like. Try to get as much as the bicarb lumps out. As you can see, I've still got bits of bicarb. Right, so then you just want to get your bicarb and give it a good mix with a knife or something. I've already done that. And then you just want to uh, get a plate and move, take everything off the plate. Get your um, mould, put the mould on the plate and then Fill your mould up with the back hub. Um, it will not go on your hand. Like, you won't get stained hands. And if you have leftover, just put on the side because you can put crumbs in your bath. It's still going to be the same. It's just not going to... It's still the same, just not in a bath bomb shape. Or shape will just be a bit crumbly. That's all right. So I'm just packing it as much as I can. So, so you just yeah. want to put it in the freezer for an hour or you could wait 5 billion hours and let it in room temperature. But I'd rather put it in the freezer so I'm just going to go do that. Right now. Alright guys, so I finished the bath bombs and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, after you leave it in the freezer, freezer for an hour or leave it out for five billion hours whatever um then they're ready to use and you don't need to put it back in the freezer um well not that i've had my dog's waiting for the door to come bruno come on come on come here. okay no he doesn't want to come um but so don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you guys want me to do next um, and I will be doing some DIYs and if you want me to see to film a after you make the bath bombs 
and like me putting it in the bath. I was going to do that in here, but I don't have enough time. So I'm going to do that if you guys want me to. And yeah, so oh, the question of the day is blankets or a sleeping bag. So I would probably go sleeping bag because I just think they're more comfortable. And you can, if you unzip the zipper, you can make it a blanket, so two ways. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I want to know the question of the day is blankets or sleeping bag. Okay, bye.